The Sea Gallery in Brisbane, Australia features mostly works by Australia's leading hand blown glass artists, but for the next two weeks, owner and curator Troy Williams will be displaying the Art of Jin Shan Ren exhibition, which he believes will give a unique insight into the spiritual practice of Falun Gong and the ongoing persecution of practitioners in China. Given the practice, the persecution, I really big on human rights issues, I would want to bring it forward. In a media release, Mr Williams said, quote, The exhibition deals with the terrifying ordeals people, including the artists themselves, have gone through and will help to raise awareness of what is perhaps the world's largest non-violent movement. The whole point of my gallery is to evoke emotion in someone um, and also to send messages and there's no greater way to do that, I think, these days than with art. The opening night drew a crowd of people, including a number of established Brisbane-based artists. Helen Tainch is a painter and ceramicist. It was just, it's so overwhelmingly uh, beautiful in one way, and it has a very, very powerful story, very powerful. Natalie Taylor, a visual artist and printmaker, described the impact of one painting of a child made homeless by the persecution. Moved by, it. I was particularly moved by the little girl with the key, latch key, and the tears. I, I felt an enormous uh, empathy for her plight to be so alone and so forlorn and forgotten. And, but it was oh, very moving. The name of the exhibition incorporates the principles of Falun Gong truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. Art collector Paul Roussel said he couldn't understand how these could be seen as threatening. And I can't understand why a government would feel threatened by people who believe in the, in the, in the three guiding principles of Falun Gong as I've come to learn about them for the first time today. Mr Williams says he has a do-whatever-necessary attitude. Judging by the response to the opening night of this exhibition, he has done exactly that. Nina Smythe, NTD News. Brisbane, Australia.